We're going to take a look at same side control. So this is something you hear a lot as far as firearms training whenever you're doing close contact shooting. Basically what it means is my left arm to his left arm, being able to control this and then being able to access a firearm, being able to shoot. It makes perfect sense, but it also has a lot to do with empty hand tactics, especially when we're looking at the idea of common knife attacks and actually common attacks in a lot of cases with any kind of contact distance weapon. Because what you'll see is it'll typically be some kind of a probing or grabbing with this hand to control gauge distance, be able to establish some kind of control before maybe an angle five, a low level knife thrust or something comes in. So this is one of the most common knife attacks you're going to run into. Well, if I know that this is coming, if I see the signs of this attack coming, then what I want to do is make sure that I deal with it as soon as possible. The more proactive I am, the more preemptive I am, the better off I can be. So when that left hand comes into probe, what I'm going to try to do is get to the outside. So I'm simply using a right hand parry here to move his left hand across. That gets me away from his knife hand. 90% of the people out there are right handed. If I can get to the outside here, I start to use this left hand as a barrier. Now when I do that, what I want to do is be able to create what we call a goal post with my left hand here. So as his left hand comes in, boom. All I have to do is knock this aside. So now what I've got is momentary control over his arm here, and I've got his arm sandwiched between mine. So my right arm is to the back of his tricep. My left arm is on the inside here. I bring my hands together, and notice my arm is already bent at a 90 degree angle. All I do is pivot down from here, pivoting from my shoulders to bring him down. This now is gonna take me into a position of immediate control, takes me away from his knife hand, and I've really solved my problem pretty authoritatively at this point. I can hit him here, smack his head. I can also look at the idea of breaking this arm real easily. As far as mobility kill, stomping this ankle, keeping him on the ground so I can create distance and create safety is actually one of my best bets. But this is something that's really quick to do when, when you see a lot of stuff as far as same side control, especially in the firearm side, you'll see overarm control. The thing is with overarm control, I've got to feed this under my armpit to get over it. This one actually takes a little bit different approach and it's especially appropriate because typically when people grab, they're not going to grab low so you can reach over. So when he goes to grab high or trying to control me here, I sweep this aside, I create this lock, he's down, I've got control here from a law enforcement perspective, I'm right into cuffing territory here because I've already got really good authoritative control. From a self-defense perspective, I can hit him, I can snap this arm, I can stomp an ankle, I can solve my problem really authoritatively. So same side control has a lot of advantages for it, certainly works well when it comes to contact distance shooting, but it's also a really powerful empty hand skill as well.